Hello class, it's Mr. Layman. I'm back. I'm going to continue on here. So what we did in the last tutorial was we wrote the double replacement reaction for sodium sulfate and lead nitrate, lead 2 nitrate, and we determined that we made a precipitate lead, sulfa lead sulfate, excuse me, and we made aqueous sodium nitrate. So what we want to do is write an ionic equation for this, and it's easiest to write a full, a complete ionic equation. So that's what we're going to do first. We're going to write a full ionic equation, or a complete ionic equation, for what are we starting with and what are we ending with? What's, what would you see in the beaker if you could zoom in and, and see things that are invisible to us? All right, so Na2SO4, this is aqueous. That means, like we looked at on the first slide, if it's aqueous, it's going to be split up into the ions that it's composed of, floating around in the water individually, separately from one another. So we have two sodium ions each one being a plus one floating around in that beaker of water and this is aqueous. So I'm going to run out of room here. I know I am so I'm going to write that beneath instead of beside it. I have an SO4. SO4 is a sulfate ion. It has a minus two charge and it's still going to be it's aqueous so it goes off on its own randomly throughout the water and then I have a lead two ion. I have lead with a plus two charge and it's going to be aqueous so it'll be floating around in the water and then I have the nitrate ion, and I have two of it, so I have two nitrate ions, so I put a two in front showing I have two of this ion in my ratio. And once again, this is an aqueous substance, so it shows that these things are all split apart. The ions are separate, it's floating around in the water individually. So that's what I'm starting with. What am I ending with? All right, so here, the PBSO4, that is a precipitate. Uh, this precipitate is together, it's not aqueous. It's no longer all together in the water. Or it's no longer separate, it's not all together in the water. So in my ionic equation, I'm going to show that that is a precipitate, and I'm going to keep that together as one substance. I'm not going to separate into the ions because it's not aqueous. It's not split apart. It is together. It's a precipitate. And then what else do I have left? I have two NAs, two sodium ions. And like on the left side, it is a plus one ion. And I ran out of room. I have two nitrate ions as well. Let me see if I can shrink up my toolbar. There we go, perfect. Two NO3s, which have a minus one charge. Now, these are both aqueous. So let me add that information below. All right, so I showed all the charges of all my ions. I kept my precipitate together. And now I want to rewrite this. I want to write what I call the net ionic equation. The net ionic equation is I cancel out anything that didn't change. And I'm just showing what did change. Well, what changed is I made a precipitate. The precipitate wasn't there before. So I'm going to cross out all what I call the spectators. So I have to cross out the spectators. I end up with sodium ions, and I start out with two sodium ions. And so they're spectating. They are not participating in the chemical reaction. I have two nitrate ions starting out. I have two nitrate ions in the end. They are spectating the reaction as well. They're not participating. They're just watching what's going on. So what is not spectating? What is taking part in the reaction? It's the sulfate ion coming together with the lead plus two ion to make lead sulfate. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to write, uh, I like to write the positive ion first. So I'm going to take the lead 2 ion, which is dissolved in water in the beginning. It's going to react with the sulfate, the minus 2 ion, which is also dissolved in the water. But once these two things come into contact with each other and bump into each other when they're moving around randomly throughout the water, they will stick together and they will stay together and make the precipitate lead 2 sulfate. All right, so once again, when you rewrite it, keep the precipitate together because it's together. It's not split apart into ions. And so this is my net ionic equation for this reaction. Oops, excuse me. Pen's going crazy. All right, I hope this helps. Uh, have a great day.